Issue number five, Financing Sustainable Development Goals, abbreviation SDGs. This is topic number five or issue number five. Number one, the third topic, economic effects of COVID-19. Topic number two, clean technologies. And number three, incoterms. And number four, GATS and financial services. So our topic today, topic number five, Financing Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. The first historical background, the term sustainable development, the term sustainable development formulated or appeared for the first time in the year 1987. In the year 1987, this is the first time uh, the uh, term sustainable development or using sust used the sustainable development term. In which case, the uh, report in the report of the United Nations Environment and Development Committee. So, the first time we use sustainable development in the year 1987 by United Nations. So. What, it, what, what do we mean by sustainable development as uh, presented in the uh, report in the year 1987? The report mentioned that sustainable development was to meet the needs of society today without eliminating the ability of future generations. So, there is a balance between sustainable development equal balance between the current needs for the current generations and the, the future needs for future generations. So, any imbalance in this case, not sustainable development. What about MDGS? MDGS abbreviation or stands for Millennium Development Goals. How many goals in MDGS? Eight goals. Eight goals. So, MDGs. This is the first stage of sustainable development. Started with the year 2001 and expired in the year 2015. How many goals in MDGs? Eight goals. The second phase or the second stage of sustainable development, sustainable development goals which started in the year 2016 and will expire in the year 2030. This is the second stage of sustainable development goals. So, mapping sustainable development goals in the second phase equal 17-0-169-T, 244-V. What do you mean by OTV? Number one, 17 o number of objectives or goals 17 goals or 17 objectives in case of SDGs 17 goals measured by or converted into 169 targets 169 targets 169 targets measured by 244 variables so, V in this case refers to variables. We can write equation 17 objectives or goals, 169 targets, 244 variables. What about dimensions? Dimensions of sustainable development goals. Social plus economic plus environment. Social dimension plus economic dimension, plus environment, together. When we talk about dimensions, we talk about one unit. One unit equal social dimension, plus economic dimension, plus environment dimension. Table number 12 in our textbook explain the sustainable development goals and the available data in Egypt. For example, Goal number one, or sustainable development goal number one, no poverty. No poverty 
How many targets in sustainable development goal number one? Seven targets. How many variables for SDG number one? 14 variables. So the last column, what is the percent of available data in Egypt? Percent of available data in Egypt for SDG number one, SDG number one, 43 percent of variables available in Egypt. Another example, for for example, the uh, SDG number nine. What about the goal? Industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Industry, innovation, and infrastructure. How many targets for SDG number nine? Eight targets. How many variables? Twelve variables. What about the percent in Egypt? Eighty-three percent. So you can know that the maximum or the highest percent in case of Egypt, this goal, SDG number nine, eighty-three percent of variables available in Egypt. On the other hand, the lowest percent, this percent, 9 percent for Egypt, related to sustainable development goal number 10, reduced inequality. So maximum available data, SDG number 9, minimum at the uh, SDG number 10. This, this table explains the goal targets, variables, and what about the availability of data. The maximum targets, the maximum targets in sustainable development goal number 17, partnership. Sustainable development goal number 17, maximum targets, ma maximum targets related to the partnerships. What about the maximum variables, the same maximum variables in, in case of the health, in case of sustainable development goal number three, 27, 27 variables. The next, what about global progress? Global progress in achieving the sustainable development goals. Number one, we compare between two lists, the first top five list and the second bottom five list. In the top five list, all in Europe, all top five list in Europe based on sustainable development index. For example, Denmark number one, Denmark achieved 85.2% of sustainable development. Next, number two, Sweden, Finland, France, and Austria. What about the bottom list? The bottom list mainly in Africa. The bottom list mainly in Africa. So, Central African Republic achieved, for example, 39.1%. So, Denmark number one and the last Central African Republic with 39.1%. What about Egypt? Egypt and Sustainable Development Goals. In the year 2019, Egypt ranked number 92 globally. Egypt ranked number 92 globally and ranked number 9 based on the Arab world or the Arab region and number six based on the Africa. So, Egypt, 92 globally. Number nine, according to the Arab region. And number six, according to the Africa. What about score for Egypt? Egypt scored 66.2%. Egypt achieved 66.2%. So, what about this pyramid? This pyramid, the pyramid of sustainable development goals in Egypt. The selection of colors, not random. So, first, in the top, we talk about green. Next, 
yellow next orange and the last or the base for this pyramid the red what about the top green green goals according to the technical assessment green goals equal the goal achieved the goal achieved the goal finished the goal done how many goals achieved for egypt zero green goals zero green goals for egypt the next what about yellow goals yellow goals equal there are remain some challenges or normal challenges limit to achieve the goals how many goals or how many yellow goals in egypt five yellow sdg number one sdg seven sdg 12 sdg 13 and sdg 15. what about the orange goals or orange objectives orange equal there are significant challenges significant challenges more difficult than normal challenges how many orange goals in egypt five so zero green plus five yellow plus five orange namely SDG number 4, number 6, number 11, number 14, and number 17. The last, red goals. Red goals, measured challenges. Major challenges to achieve this goal. How many red goals in, in case of Egypt? Seven. SDG number 2, number 3, number 5, number 8, number 9, number 10, number 16. So you can write equation for Egypt, the pyramid, 0 green plus 5 yellow plus 5 orange plus 7 red. Finance, financing the sustainable development goals. Generally, what about the requirements or the required investment to achieve sustainable development goal at the worldwide? Globally, to achieve sustainable development goals, we need from five to seven trillion of dollars. From five to seven trillion of dollars. So some economists argue that we can use sustainable financial instrument to finance the sustainable development goal because the investment in sustainable financial instrument around 24 billion of dollars 24 billions of dollars so in this case what about the suitable or sustainable financial instrument for example number one social responsibility investment social responsibility investment in this case the social responsibility investment the type of investment use two types of standards or benchmarks or indicators financial standards and non-financial standards for financials no problem because we can use uh, costs, revenues, profits, but what about non-financial standards? Non-financial standards equal environmental standards, equal social standards. So, for example, if, if we can use the emissions, uh, a pollution or emissions, maybe this is an example for the environmental standards. Number two, Impacting investment. In case of impacting investment, any investment create a positive benefit for the environment or social or both. Impacting investment equal any investment create a benefits or a positive for social problem or environmental problem. In this case, 
This investment meets the social and environmental challenges to create a reasonable return on investment. Number three, social impact bonds. Social impact bonds. In this case, the bond achieves both financial and social returns together. In social impact bonds, the bond achieves the both of social and financial returns. The first time, the first time, when using the social impact bonds in the year 2010, UK is the first country introduced the social impact bonds in the year 2010. To what? To attract the investors, to attract private investors, to solve any problem, maybe social problem, maybe environmental problem. So what about return? The return related to social impact point. In case, the return based on the overall outcome, the overall outcome of the funded project. When the overall outcome increase, the return for social impact points increase. When the overall outcome decrease, this is the social impact or the return on social impact decrease. Number four, green bonds. And we will explain green bonds in detail in the next lectures. So, mainly green bonds like any bond, like any traditional bond. But what is the difference between green bond and traditional bond? Which project you fund? Which project you finance? If you finance green projects or clean projects, in this case, green bonds. So green bonds used only to fund or finance green projects or clean projects or friendly projects, environment friendly projects. Green credit, green credit, the type of, of credit Use a credit used by China, used by China. Why China? Because as we presented in the topic of clean technology, China is the main source of CO2 emissions. China is the main source of CO2 emissions. So China uses green credit to limit the environmental problems, to limit the environmental problems. The next point, what about the role of financial services? What about the role of financial services? In this case, the first, when we talk about access, how individuals and firms and governments access. Access to what? Access to financial products. So, in this case, we talk about financial inclusion. Financial inclusion to or at three levels. Financial inclusion at individuals level, at SMEs level, at government level. So the concept of access to financial products, in other words, we talk about increasing or expanding the financial inclusion at three levels for individuals, for SMEs, for governments. The second Investing in or financing and ensuring the renewable energy and other infrastructure. So, access and finance. What about the specific rule? Specific rule for uh, financial institutions or financial sector to enhance the sustainable development goals. We will focus on selected selected sustainable development goals number one sdg number one related to end poverty sustainable development goal number one end poverty what about the role of financial institution to to end the poverty or to uh, create the sustainable development goal or transfer sustainable development goal into green green color number one Innovating to develop new. What's new? 
new financial products, new credit score methodologies, new operating models, distribution channels, and the main challenge for sustainable development, goal number one. What about the financial institution to solve this problem? This problem equal how the unbanked adults globally, there are 2.5, 2.5 billion adults currently without bank account. 2.5 billion adults unbanked. So, if you want to create access and to expand financial inclusion, you need to decrease the 2.5 billion to lower, lower than 2.5 billion adults globally. And the last for SDG number one, we will talk about micro insurance for the social protection to create the dimension of social. SDG number four, SDG number four, inclusive and quality education. Mainly we talk about education in the sustainable development goal number four. So the role of financial institutions may be at two levels. Level number one, supply side. Supply side, we want to talk about the provider of the service, of educational services. So, financial institutions, how to collaborate with the development finance institutions and the governments to increase our innovative financing for education projects. How the financial institutions encourage the education projects, finance the education projects. This is from supply side. For example, we can use education bonds. Education bonds as an instrument to fund the education projects. Level number two, this is demand side or client side or the user. When we talk about the user or consumer. Expand access and use of personal saving and loan products. This is to finance the education costs at the customer level or client level. The next, sustainable development goal number eight. In this case, we talk about sustainable economic growth. Sustainable development goal number eight related to sustainable growth. So the rule of financial institution, number one, Strengthen the insurance and investment guarantees for political and non-commercial risks. Why? The rule of financial institutions in this case, how to decrease uncertainty or how to decrease the risk level. When, we, when you decrease the risk level, in this case, foreign direct investment will increase. So, negative relationship between negative relationship between the risk level and foreign direct investment. The main rule in this case, the, based on the rule of financial institutions. Number two, work with the key stakeholder to develop practical solution. Why practical solution? To encourage the international banks. International banks try to expand the market, try to open new branches. So the financial institution, how to create a practical solution to create or update some environments like legal and regulations. Number three, expand the microfinance. In case of microfinance, this is related or direct related to the small business owners. The last SDG number 12, sustainable consumption and production. Sustainable consumption and production patterns. What about the role of financial institutions? Number one, develop new pricing models. Why the term new? Because the uh, sectors sectors for sustainable development classified as the new sectors or modern sectors. 
when you evaluate modern sectors, you need the modern tools for pricing. How you can evaluate risk, how you can evaluate the burden of environment. So you need new pricing models. Number two, develop innovative products to create or encourage the sustainability at all levels. For example, energy efficient buildings. Any energy efficient buildings, yes, in this case, we can introduce premiums. Any uh, project decrease the greenhouse gas emissions, in this case, okay, create incentives, introduce premiums. To, to, this is, in this case, we talk about innovation products, innovation incentives. So this is sustainable development goal number 12. Thank you, my dear students, and see you in the next lecture.